Hi, this is Carl Lewis with another one in my series of the top five reasons for choosing SAP Business One 8.81. The second of these top five reasons, in my opinion, is recurring transactions and activities. Let me show you briefly how this new feature works. Let's say that I want to invoice one of my customers on a monthly basis for a monthly service charge of some kind or a service contract and I just want the invoice to come up and occur every month without me having to recreate it. So I would first of all choose my customer and create an invoice that I'm going to use as a template. So I'm going to choose parameter technologies. I've set up a non-inventory item for uh, a service contract basically um, and it's one, one unit and the unit price is going to be $150 per month, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is save this as a draft, and it's document number 256. Then, secondly, I'm going to go out to uh, the AR menu again, and in this AR menu there's a recurring transaction templates. So I'm going to now select uh, to create an another line here. I've already got one in there and <clears throat> I'm going to utilize an AR invoice. It's going to ask me to choose which AR invoice I'm basing it off of and it's this 256, remember our number. I'm going to do it monthly um, and it's going to be on every one, every one month, right? And I'm going to pre-start this so I get a few of them to show you how this works. So I'm going to say that this one started in January of this last year and uh, it's going to be on the 1st of January is when it's going to start and the next occurrence is going to be on 9-1, right, in September. Um, and we'll update that. It's warning me that the start of the year is earlier. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to go to recurring transactions, and the system is going to tell me that I need to generate these documents going all the way back.